Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We have a full market overview on the schedule today. So this uh, recording of the video idea is going over all Forex pairs and the metal pairs. Um, not with the live chat today because I am in Eindhoven airport and uh, we are flying back to uh, Lithuania today uh, after a surprise weekend with my sister here in the Netherlands who became 30. So it was really nice. And uh, currently I'm looking at uh, NZD USD. Uh, most NZD pairs actually continued their uptrend last week. Um, and as we see, NZD JPY created even a new high, been going up since uh, 16th of March. Um, as long as, as we uh, see actually continuation of the trend, we want to uh, stay in buying mode. But the NZD cat is, uh, is not the, the best pair for that. So basically from the NZD in general, I would say that NZD USD might uh, made here double top currently a bit under the cloud. So I would uh, watch out buying it straight away again. Uh, we know that only if everything looks perfect on the infinity box, if everything is green, we would like to buy. The entry line is red right now and CCI is negative too. So it can create some pullbacks. Um, but the whole idea is that at the end we are in an uptrend. So who knows if we would go there again and keep making new highs. Um, it's, it's just not a pair that I would jump into straight away. Um, NZD JPY is a pair that if you were still in there, uh, the market has been going up for uh, all this time. It might continue to do that so this week. Um, and NZD CAT, it's just not stable. So that's basically the, the mix of NZDs. Um, looking at AUD, it's a little bit the same. AUD USD been moving up for uh, for quite a while, um, and uh, AUD CAT here is on high levels that we had before as well um, at the start of March. Um, it's also the last week of March. Uh, Thursday uh, is the last day. So I expect actually a quite slow week um, towards the end of the month. One April will probably be a very, very hard day to trade because it's a Friday. Not many people would like to open new positions on, uh, on the first day of the month um, being a Friday. So I think next week uh, has a lot more potential, even though it's the NFP week next week. Um, but I think it can be it can be a great week uh, to trade this week probably a little bit more more peaceful and therefore I'm really looking into a couple of pairs um, what we can do with them AUD NZD not peaceful at all this morning already moved up uh, from opening price and uh, moved up already 38 pips within uh, about 58k um, of volume and AUD JPY made a lot more volume even straight after opening being in overbought zone right now probably going to have a little bit of a pullback here um, even can go to plus two but probably having a bit of a pullback there towards ultimate resistance or uh, weak resistance and then there's the question, where do we go? So that market will just keep going up um, as, as the uptrend continues. Everything looks green, major trend, minor trend, entry line, all lines are green. CCI is fairly positive, 162. So uh, I'm looking at all those pairs on the hour, which means that we don't have to always have to trade them straight away today. It's very early still. I also feel it's very early. Um, and basically you want to see how London opening or early London opening goes un unless we see something that is uh, worth it to jump in straight away. What I see on those two AUD pairs, I mark them green. They are still green. They're green for a while now as in a buying advice, um, but they both can make a pullback. So watch out with that um the nice part here is that we can have a pullback 
on AUD NZD that can then go to ultimate resistance. So there is still a lot of space. It can also go there straight away. Uh, will probably be something like 20, 30 pips, 25. Uh, but we can also have a 30 pips pullback and then going up 60 pips or so. So uh, for that, I would watch out, but it's clearly uh, the direction of the AUD NZD trend. You can see this pullback coming very clearly on CCI. If this keeps going down, then you know that the market will stagnate a bit in the run up. And then when it starts to go up again, uh, as long as it stays positive, the buyers are winning and the market is going to go and crawl up even though slowly. Now, Euro pair has been falling again last week, made it an easy week to trade. Euro, Euro AUD fall all week, fell all week. Euro NZD exactly the same. I had some take profits here overnight. That was really nice. Um, older trades that hit and take profit, really, really, really big rights. Um, and uh, yeah, we have to see if the market wants to continue to fall um, over the upcoming days. So what you can do is to make a calculation from Friday, go back one, two, three, four, five days. Then you see here, 225 pips of falling you can do that with a candle or oh, sorry with an arrow you can also do it with the bar ghost pattern um, and then we, here we have our target where we would be able to say like this one i need to delete so here we would have a target to say like okay hey, market can slowly come down there let's see if we have any uh, official levels here this is the minus one of seven, eight March. So that would be a slow five day drop. Um, and we need to get more, uh, more support from the pivot levels to be able to drop that that much further. So both Euro AUD and Euro NZD are just still in a slow uptrend. Euro CAT went a bit quickly this Friday. Uh, we got the sell signal and the market dropped uh, pretty actively, 100 pips in the on the Friday afternoon and continues to um, to do so at this moment on ultimate support. Uh, and also here we need to check there's a very big chance if you see something 100 pips that that quickly can easily make a pullback first, maybe towards the cloud. And then, uh, yeah, this is probably another 100 pips. So if it would make a pullback like that and it would go to the minus two level, we're talking about 100, 140 pips. We also talk about 30 March uh, morning. So that means that you would have to wait till something like Wednesday morning um, to reach your profits. But the amount of pips on this pair are really, really, really high. Um, I didn't mark it for a sell signal uh, this morning because it's not a pair I would like to jump in right now. It is I can make it blue. Sometimes I do that. It's for a pair that I want to keep an eye on because it can be a really, really big potential. Euro dollar actually just goes sideways. You know, I, I don't need uh, pivots for this to tell me, but you see here all the blue lines, they are pretty much the same all the time. Um, and yeah, you can see it here as well without the pivot levels. It's just staying within the zone. So that's, that's not my part of trading. I don't like pairs that are staying flat. Um, Euro GBP actually also not really, uh, a great pair that does give us a great trend. So stick to the Euro AUD and the Euro NZD for that Euro JPY um uh, has like some low figures here keeps grinding up uh going this morning already a little bit up again so yeah the question is where is the structure it just keeps going up at some point it needs to make a pullback and the question is how deep it goes so i'm putting this as blue uh looking at the infinity pivot levels uh market can go up to 
um, and can also make a pullback to 132.83. And then uh, there's actually a question if it will still go up or if it makes like pullbacks towards this kind of levels um, and turn this whole uptrend into a downtrend because this went up for quite a while. There's a chance that it goes and flip over like this to continue the downtrend. What's very weird is that from 24 February, uh, Euro JPY should have been dropping because it was dropping during the start period of the war. And this pair now just keeps going the other way. While most pairs are still in the direction of the war um, and they have made pullbacks and they, they have made very aggressive moves. But at the end, they are still going into the trend of 24 February. Um, this pair doesn't. So uh, that's why it's blue. I'm keeping an eye on it. I It's hard to, to buy for me uh, when I know that a very large, quick uh, pullback can be coming. I don't want to um, be caught up in that. Uh, GBP, JPY. Same situation as Euro JPY, just been keeps grinding up. 93 pips already today, over 100k volume, um, way before London opens, like really, really early. So uh, watch out with the speed of this pair, uh, because it can easily make another 100 pips towards the R8. Um, but it can also, it was really just one spike at 4 a.m. Um, and it covered so much ground there. So it is a, it is a buy for me. It is like a pair that I have bought on Thursday as well. Um, and a couple of days before that, it's pretty clear trend. Um, but, um, you know, worst case scenario, you get a hundred pips pullback here because that's how big it is. And then a 200 pips ride. But uh, I, I guess that uh, it's just a little break right now for the rest of the day to slowly to go up. That That's what I'm personally going to look for. Uh, GBP USD uh, sideways market also for the last couple of days. So we can skip that. And uh, GBP cat on its down right. From strong support, I believe that that would slowly go continuing towards uh, ultimate support. Uh, we see here 19 pips overnight. Not that aggressive, but enough to move down the pivots. Also moved the R8 down. So that is very nice. R8 went down, pivot went down, and S0 went down. The size of the pivot stayed exactly the same. So, yeah, as you see here, we had some nice selling here last uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Monday, we already said it would go down, and that target hit on Friday as well before the end of the week. So yeah, these are really these are really nice confirmations to say. Okay, sometimes we have to wait for it a bit, but it dropped a hundred pips, and I hope that you guys really cashed in on this GBP cat. Uh, very big chance that you can cash a bit more this Monday. GBP AUD technically the same. Only thing is it went a bit quick already. Uh, so the market is down to ultimate support and it can make some pullbacks before it continues to go down further. So that's something I would look out for. So GBP cat, a little bit more um, confirmation. GBP NZD, pretty stable actually for the last two, three days. See a lot of wicks um, and yeah, therefore a lot of Kind of stability market is moving down but very very slowly and on the opening price of thursday was barely nothing different than the closing price of friday so for two days been standing still this morning also still uh, nothing much um, r8 has been tumbling down uh, and s0 has been moved a little bit um, the pivots are really 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 tight here so I would say let's wait for them to open up and to change to uh, get a bit more information. Uh, USD CAD, I see that they had some drawing work here from before. Um, basically a nice pair that is moving down slowly as well. It made a pullback this morning. Um, so I would be interested in looking for a way to go down to ultimate support. 
cat jpy uh not a pair i've been trading a lot uh because it was totally stuck in this box and been out of the box now actually for a while uh, but i didn't trade a lot of us uh, sessions with my time in dubai uh, last week um, so my mornings were based on trading my afternoons uh, not at all so basically uh, the market broke out of a very long uh, here we had a box from 24 january broke out multiple times but it broke out here on 11 march retested and then started flying from uh, from 15 of march so i hope as we explain this on multiple sessions i hope that you guys catched it um it's just something i didn't catch myself not being really looking to the usa session trades and the same here for usd jpy also a pair that was stagnant for such a long time and broke out into an uptrend so um I hope you guys catched a bit of that. Last finished uh, finishing uh, touch here is uh, gold and silver. Gold been making a little bit of a drop. Um, I said here I would be interested in buying above 1950 towards the 2000 level, reach 1966. Uh, there was Thursday made a little hike. Um, and then Friday didn't do a lot. This morning it came down to pivot level. I do believe that there's a fair chance for the gold market to uh, go to 1968. Um, but I don't know if, that will, if it will do that today, tomorrow. It's the end of the month. It can make a little hike up still. Uh, the March open price is here. So we are still profitable compared to the March open price. It's around ultimate support. And I hope it stays like that. I hope that there's a, a good change. But it was so aggressive, like the whole month of March. Uh, you've seen also how much trades we've been doing. But here's the March open price. We went up all the way there to create almost an, a new five-year high, uh, which was on 75, but really, really extreme. Uh, way higher than, uh, than the start of the, of the markets. Uh, and the start of the war in uh, in February. Here we had a really high spike and uh, this became even crazier in March. Um, and then we tumbled down all the way back to the open price and now we are a bit here. So let's see if there's still a chance for the market to go up. Maybe it pushes down a bit and then makes its move. And we will see on Thursday what the close price of gold is going to be. Um, and silver makes a bit of a copy of that. It went to a crazy spike, almost 27. Um, and it's currently trading uh, still quite nicely above uh, the March open price. I hope that they, uh, they can keep it up um, so that the end price of the month will not be too, too bad. It's 2.5% up right now. It's quite nice. So um, I wouldn't buy it straight away today, uh, but if it shows a little bit of a trend again, um, then we can maybe make a little hike towards the end of the month on Thursday. So that's the summary, guys. Um, I hope that you uh, get some value out of this summary. So I hope that you are uh, taking some trades that are giving a clear pattern. Um, if you have any questions, make sure that you go to the Telegram group um, infinity traders we are uh, able to answer any questions there um, and i will put this uh, video here on trading view and also on youtube for you to watch um, and uh, let me know in the comments if there's any questions i will check them and i will make sure that they are answered thank you so much for today um, i'm going to catch my flight and i see you guys on the next session thank you bye bye